home prices in the Hamptons have been red hot lately, hitting some new records, in fact. But sales are at their lowest levels since 2000. I feel like I'm going to fall into the pool. Uh, Robert Frank is here to explain. Hi, Robert. That would be good to watch, Kelly. And a broker is <laughs> saying there are at least two buyers for every seller in the Hamptons. And buyers are paying up. Prices in the Hamptons hitting an all-time record in the first quarter with the average sale price now over $3 million. That's $1 million more than the average sale price right now in Manhattan. That's the largest spread ever between those two markets. Brokers say demand from wealthy buyers remains strong, especially at the very high end. Bidding wars for luxury properties were at or near all-time records, and the share of deals done for $10 million or more also hit all-time highs. The problem here is a shortage of trophy beach homes for sale. There's a high-class problem. Inventory is less than half what it was pre-COVID. Brokers say the properties that do come on the market are, well, largely overpriced. Now, with the rental market strong, they don't expect a lot more homes to come up for sale. So prices will be strong and sales weak this summer. But if you're looking, one listing that just came on the market, you might recognize from the show Succession, this modern beachfront home in Wainscott, was featured in season three. It's two and a half acres, 11,000 square feet with six bedroom, 10 baths, heated infinity pool, 230 feet of beachfront. And Kelly, the price tag, including that pool, is $55 million. So what's the land situation? If you know How, how many parcels are available at what cost? I mean, lumber is at a three-year low right now. So if we buy some land, we get some cheap lumber, Robert, we throw a house together, this has got to be a great time. Yeah, I mean, that's an arbitrage that I think we're going to start seeing around the country as these prices go up. The problem in the Hamptons, especially in the sort of prime ocean front, there's not much land for sale. There is, though, to your point, quite a bit of construction going on. Hmm. And so brokers are hoping that construction can finish quickly, maybe some of it this summer, maybe in the fall. And that will perhaps jumpstart at least some sales. All right. So different from uh, several years back. Uh, Robert, thank you so much, our Robert Frank.